The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Welcome back to the Cowboy Football Roundup as we preview 2012 with the head coach of the Cowboys, Mike Gundy. And, well, let's talk about the quarterback. Wes Lunt is a freshman. He came here. He left high school early so he could participate in spring drills. What has he done that's been most significant that's helped him improve from, say, the end of spring to where he is now? I think the reps that he's had um, in the summer when they train on their own has helped him tremendously. He's showing signs of, of having some short-term memory, which is good. He doesn't let things bother him. Uh, he has a calming effect on me just standing out there watching him at practice. So I would think that he has that same effect on our players. Uh, he has a better feel of where to go with the football, which allows him to react instead of think in, in crucial situations. Uh, our staff has worked him a, a ton just in the last two weeks on blitz because I can't imagine that the first two or three or four or five teams or maybe for the entire season for the most part will try to blitz him considerably and frustrate him and cause him some issues. So we've worked, we worked on that a large percentage of the time and he's handled that very well. So I think just repetitions and his attitude's been good, his work ethic's been good. Uh, one of our thud scrimmages we had, uh, he had, uh, um, had migraines and was sick and uh, was, not, was, uh, was not feeling very well the entire day and went ahead and went out there and scrimmaged and practiced and performed well. And performing well is good, but just to push yourself through it, that's part of being a college football player. And all of these areas and things that we've talked about, I think are tying into him starting to develop. He's got a long ways to go. He's got a good supporting cast, but he's making strides that are further along than what most people, including myself, would have anticipated. Do you feel like it's easier in this offense for a young quarterback than maybe some other offenses that you've been around? No question. It is. This, this offense, in my opinion, is based on repetitions and uh, the more reps that you get, the better off you are, just in standing back and observing. And so a year from now, you ought to be much better than he is now, and then two years from now, even better than that. And he's had um, really six or seven practices in the spring where he knew what he was doing enough to kind of function. And then we've had however many up until this point in the fall camp. And you take away the, the non-padded practices. so. You say he's had 16 or 18 practices for the most part where he kind of knew what was going on. And that's all he's had. And he's improved uh, a good deal in that short amount of time. So it's encouraging for the future. So with that thought in mind, is there any need for you as a staff to sort of control situations given the fact that he's a first year starter or in this offense because it's so much read and react and repetition is that even practical to think that way i think those discussions have well i know those discussions have taken place but todd's pushing it all on him just let him, him go to, he wants him to learn and uh now will he be selective and play calling on game day very well could be mm -hmm. but we meaning our staff and our offensive staff when i listen to them talk they didn't want to keep him from learning as fast as possible and they want to get it all out there here's the offense this is what we do this is why we do it this is why we run this is why we throw these are the situations and you digest it as quickly as possible and i think it's worked i'm not i wasn't as excited about it as they were at first i wanted to simplify and they didn't, and I think it was a good move on their part.